Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. I admit it, global warming is real and it's warping Americans' brains. Either that or Democrats are really, really, really dumb. They voted for Obama twice. They think our economy's in recovery. Now they're getting ready to vote for Hillary. It's gotta be global warming. What else explains the stupidity, idiocy, and delusion? What else explains the self-destructive behavior? What else explains Obama refusing to lift a finger to stop ISIS? In denial, there's a problem after ISIS has already taken over half of Syria and Iraqi city after city, headed for Baghdad, while Obama keeps repeating the massive lie, I have a plan. A plan? Obama won't even admit the IS and ISIS stands for Islamic State. Win the war? We're not even allowed to call a Muslim a Muslim. Can you imagine a World War II if we weren't allowed to call Germans Nazis? Your typical Democratic voter is either an idiot or maybe global warming must be real, turning their brains to mush. Every Democrat in the country screamed in shock and dismay when George W. Bush added $4 trillion to the national debt, yet they don't see a thing, hear a thing, say a thing about Obama adding $8 trillion, and by the end of his second term, $12 trillion. Three times more! Has global warming turned them all to brain-dead zombies? Hillary Clinton erased 32,000 emails, promising they were none of our business. She wiped her server clean and refuses to discuss it. Her Democratic supporters say nothing to see here and echo her famous line, what difference does it make? Surely they can't be this stupid. It must be global warming, causing them to bury their empty heads in the sand. Hillary Clinton, while Secretary of State, collected $2 billion for the Clinton Foundation, mostly from foreign governments. Then those same countries are awarded government contracts and awards, saying how fabulous they are. Anyone else would be tried for treason and bribery. A Republican doing the same thing would be worried about spending years in prison, not years in the White House. Obama and Hillary covered up the Benghazi scandal, arms dealing, a terrorist attack, and murders to win the 2012 election through fraud. What do our Democratic supporters say about all this? What difference does it make? It can only be global warming hollowing out the brains of Democrats. Hillary took millions of donations from governments that stone, whip, and jail women for the crime of being rape victims. Yet she claims to be a hero for women's rights and, of course, says Republicans are at war with women. What do Democrats say? Right on, Hillary. Only global warming causing severe mental illness could explain this. Hillary says she fights for the middle class while demanding $250,000 a speech, plus a private jet, a G4, by the way, at minimum, and the presidential suite at the fanciest hotel in town while giving speeches at colleges where middle-class kids will graduate with massive debt and no job prospects. Then she complains about CEO compensa uh, compensation being too high while collecting $30 million in the past 16 months for uh, selling her influence as Secretary of State. Yet young progressives don't see this hypocrisy. Surely they can't be that stupid. It must be due to global warming that has melted their brains to the point they can't spell cat if we spot them the C and the A. They just walk forward like zombies, eyes looking up through their skulls, mumbling Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. Obama and Kerry call global warming and climate change America's biggest threat worse than terrorism. They say we've got to reconfigure the whole U.S. economy, kill coal, kill oil, and become the green energy nation, while ignoring the fact that the green energy sham has destroyed the EU, left their continent in economic collapse, killed millions of jobs, and produced youth unemployment rates of 55% or higher in green countries like Spain. The media never mentions the inconvenient fact that the results in the EU are so bad, even socialist leaders now publicly admit that green energy kills jobs and bankrupts nations. Nor do they mention that while the EU has scuttled the greenhouse gas emission standards that killed their economies, Obama demands we institute those same standards in America. Insanity. How can it be that the mainstream media doesn't think to mention any of this? How could Democrats not notice the tragedies going on in Spain, Greece, Italy, or France? Green energy saves the planet while it destroys the economy, so you're broke, living in misery, starving, and you're breathing the same dirty air, because no matter how many jobs you kill in the interest of saving the planet, China and India just keep doubling their pollution. So if you've accomplished nothing except ruining your economy, no one thinks to mention this. Global warming is the only possible reason this is happening. It must be like heroin combined with crack cocaine and crystal meth. There must be a genetic weakness within the DNA of Democrats in the mainstream media. Obamacare is a proven failure. How do I know? The two most liberal brain-dead states where everyone loves Obama and big government have given up on Obamacare. 
Vermont and Hawaii. Vermont just closed its entire health care experiment. It went bankrupt. Obamacare exchanges across America are going broke, fact, including Hawaii. If Obamacare can't work in Hawaii with a small population and 205 million in taxpayer subsidies, it can't work anywhere. Then there are cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Baltimore that have been run 100% by Democrats and progressive policies for 50 or more straight years. They're all bankrupt, abandoned, crime-ridden hellholes. Residents live in misery. After pouring billions into them, their schools are a disaster. Drugs are sold in broad daylight. No one can walk the streets at night. Violent animals rule. But Democrats want to use the exact same policies to save America. Global warming has got to be the cause. And it must turn Democrats into brain-dead zombies. America under Obama has become a low-wage part-time economy with close to zero GDP growth. Obama's presided over a record 40 plus straight months of 46 million or more citizens on food stamps, a permanent underclass living in misery, just like Cuba, Venezuela, and Greece. Are you surprised? Obama's using the same progressive policies as the socialists in Cuba, Venezuela, and Greece. But Democrats don't seem to notice. I can only think that global warming is the leading cause of blindness and deafness in Democrats. Something has obviously dumbed down the young people they're clueless that Obama's plan is printing trillions in new fake money, thereby forcing the stock market to record highs. That makes Obama's biggest donors wealthy beyond their wildest imagination for generations to come, but it leaves the average middle-class kid with the bill of crushing 250000 or more of debt. They're graduating from college with massive personal debt, too, and no opportunity for anything but a part-time job to live in their parents' basement in record numbers, yet college graduates vote Democrat because they get free contraception and abortion. Global warming must be especially deadly to young brains, leaving holes the size of manhole covers. My fellow Jewish Americans don't notice Obama's hatred of Israel and that every action proves he's on the side of radical Muslims. He's Israel's best friend, say delusional Jewish Democrats. But Israelis certainly know the truth. They see Obama as the worst American president by a massive landslide. It isn't even close. 63% versus 16% for Jimmy Carter in second place. Forget global warming. Israelis see the biggest threat to their existence as Barack Obama. The results of this poll prove American Jews are living in a make-believe world of rainbows and unicorns. It has to be global warming. The Amtrak crash proves anyone not admitting government is a failure is a complete blithering idiot. Amtrak has lost over 40 billion and the results keep getting worse. So Democrats demand more government spending on Amtrak. Only a zombie or a lobotomy victim would decide more spending will solve the problem after 40 straight years of failure, incompetence, and waste of taxpayer money. It must be global warming because anyone who wants to waste more money on Amtrak also believes in the Tooth Fairy and the Loch Ness Monster. Something has created brain-dead zombies that ignore the obvious connection between Obama's all-time record levels of spending, debt, taxes, and regulations, and the fact that for the first time in the history of America, more businesses fail each day than open each day. Then those same zombies conclude, I have the answer. Let's add even more regulations. It's got to be global warming. Hollowing out their heads like a pumpkin on Halloween. Come to think of it, Democrats do have that same kind of smile as a pumpkin. (laughs) Democrats don't seem to notice the fact that Obama spent a billion dollars of your tax money to build and fix the defective Obamacare websites given to foreign companies, not creating one American job, one of those companies run by Michelle Obama's Princeton Black Alumni Association college classmate. That scandal alone should have led to Obama's impeachment, but Democrats are too busy watching Dancing with the Stars. Democrats now don't seem to notice health insurance premiums and co-pays have doubled and tripled for middle-class Americans, the group paying the bill, or that inflation is back in a big way caused by massive jumps in health care spending. No one seems to care, and the media doesn't see a story. They're living in the dark and silence at the same time. Paul Krugman of the New York Times just wrote about the lies and fraud committed by Bush over the Iraq War. Yet he doesn't notice Obama committed massive fraud when he sold Obamacare by saying, if you like your insurance, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep him. Obamacare will lower prices and Obamacare will lower the deficit. Krugman never saw any of that. He never heard any of that, blind and deaf. It has to be global warming. It turns even Nobel Prize winners into idiots foaming at the mouth. Liberals like Krugman hate bullying. It's their cause celebre. 
but they don't notice that Obama used the IRS in a widespread criminal conspiracy to target, intimidate, bankrupt, and bully his critics while trying to silence free speech. Obama makes Nixon look like Mother Teresa. Obama is the mother of all bullies. Finally, liberals like Krugman don't notice that progressive policies have turned Cuba into the country that time forgot, forever frozen in 1950. Those same progressive policies have led to food shortages and toilet paper shortages in Venezuela. Those same progressive policies have left hospitals in Greece without painkillers or gauze. Liberals don't notice that big government, big spending, big taxes, big regulations, big unions, and free health care cripple every nation and bankrupt every economy they've ever touched. Those are the same progressive policy that Obama's used to damage the U.S. economy beyond repair, except for the richest people on Wall Street. They're doing great. We are in a slow motion disaster headed towards the end of America. The people who support and defend Obama and Hillary are clearly brain dead. It must be supercharged rays of sun burning holes in their minds. Global warming must be shrinking brains to pea size. It's clear now Democrats are being lobotomized. Global warming has got to be real. Either that or Democrats are so dumb, deaf, and blind, they shouldn't be let out of the house without diapers and a security guard. I'm Wayne Allyn for Personal Liberty. See you next week. God bless America and save us from the brain-dead zombies in the Democratic Party.